This is a bit of a pointless loop, but it's very pretty. So we're going to do it because it's enjoyable. There's no other reason for it really. What we're going to do is we're going to come up from Bicentennial Park, go through roads up through the main drag, across the Parramatta River Bridge, zip around uh, Meadowbank for a bit and come back over the ride bridge. So we're coming up here from Bicentennial Park. You can see Ikea in front of us, obviously. If you want to go along the waterfront, hang left there. It's a much, much nicer way to go. Uh, except if you're in a hurry, well, it's not so good because it can be really crowded with pedestrians, etc. on a nice day. This is the alternative way. This is to go on the cycle path, or we call it cycle lane that goes through roads. I used to absolutely hate this because it was a very, very narrow cycle lane and the risk of dooring along here was just terrible and close passes and blah, blah, blah. And you can see there, that line there marks where the outside of the bicycle lane used to be. So the, the lane used to be about half as wide as it is today. And you were absolutely squished up against the car doors. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually riding on the right hand side of where that lane used to be to give myself plenty, plenty of clearance from potential opening doors. Uh, but yeah, they used to stick you absolutely right in the door zone. It was just deadly. Really, I don't know why you'd ride through here unless you're going to the train station or you lived here or you're desperate for a coffee at one of the cafes back there. That's the train station in front of us there. Um, that's, I think there's another way to get across the railway line there, but I never use it. I normally just uh, go down this road, which is exceptionally boring and quite horrible, under the railway bridge. And we're going to turn right here to get onto the path. And I got the wrong lane and completely screwed that up. Uh, but we're just going to go up this shared path here a little bit. Um, duck and weave and turn right and coming up on our right there's an alternative way you could have come up there's a um, slot you can push your bike up through now this is the Parramatta River Bridge uh, in 2000 it was converted from an old railway bridge into a pedestrian slash cycling bridge very nice there's the bridge we're heading to up the river a bit the ride bridge come off here watch the bollards snake around a little bit there's all these apartments on the right here and head right down this path it's quite steep do a u-turn watch the police car and again through these apartments left at the roundabout right at the chicanes watch the bollards and come along here and admire the view and if you really feel like it you can feed the seagulls no i don't really recommend that but uh you know there were plenty of them out today and making a hell of a racket and oh, yeah horrible things um, on a nice day, this path can be very crowded with pedestrians, lots of prams, lots of kids, it's playgrounds here, so you've got to watch it. Uh, as you can see here, there's some dogs, there's lots of artwork and stuff if you want to stop and have a look at it. There's maps all the way along here on um, posts like that thing there that we just turned, we just saw on our left. We zip along here on this path under the bridge, um, and this is the bit you really got to watch out for. Cars come with the right, oh, it's not too bad. From the left sight line is absolutely atrocious and some drivers come flying around this corner 100 miles an hour uh, you've really got to watch it you got to listen for them and if you hear someone screaming around the bend obviously don't go because you'll get cleaned up uh, lovely view off to the left there yep i think that's probably about enough of that uh, keep your eyes on the path it might be you know a bit safer pop off the path and we're on lewin street and one thing I noticed today, of course, was builders had decided to block the cycle lane with this stuff, barricades. I have no idea why this is here. Um, but yeah, just watch it because of stupid stuff. It can happen. That's it. Enjoy. If you're interested in doing a ride with Baybug, there is a link in the description. Baybug runs regular Wednesday morning and weekend rides. Joining Baybug is free and riding with Baybug is also free. Please note though that we currently cap the rides at 12 people. All rides are led by a trained ride leader and no one gets left behind. During the ride, you're covered by insurance thanks to our affiliation with Bicycle New South Wales. If you want to join us for a ride, make sure you complete and send in the registration form in advance. That's so the ride leader knows who to contact if you do have a crash or something other like that. The rides are graded, so if you're unsure about your skills or fitness, choose an easy ride. Nobody cares what sort of bike you ride, unless it's a unicycle. They do have a bit of trouble keeping up. Nobody cares what clothes you choose to ride in, so long as you're wearing something. And it's also a good idea to wear some sunscreen in the warmer months. Some of these rides are led by people in their 70s, so don't worry about feeling a bit old and over the hill. It's never too late to jump on your bike and give it a go.